expected me. Good old Bill. <laughs> Bill's the man. Bill is the man. So, on the heels of last week's episodes, mm. I believe you may you may owe the the masses, the public, ears and eyes a, a formal apology. Yeah, man, we're we're starting off with some deep stuff here. I was called out by my four year old and my two year old who are avid followers. Ouch of Faith and Frames. And I made the apology public on Facebook. Right. But now for the world, mm-hmm. for our massive podcast yep. following. Yep. Episode six, I uttered some some not so nice words. Especially to the eye to the eyes and the ears of a four and a two year old. To a four and a two year old, I uh, uttered some not so nice words to Justice. Yeah. Our guest. Who was our, our guest. returning guest. He may not return ever again because of my words. It's true. Folks, I told Justice to shut up in a move that I am ashamed that I made. That I uttered those words. I am disgruntled with myself. Yeah. Disappointed in myself. Right. Clearly, my children are disappointed. Yeah. Said it wasn't nice way was to treat not your nice. friend or something. I yeah, mean, that is a not nice way. You are not being a good friend ah. by telling your friend to shut up. So again, for the masses, for our massive podcast following here on Faith and Frames, going to open it up with an apology. Yeah. I would like to publicly apologize for telling our friend Justice to shut up. Yeah. Kate, Cade, Little Buster as we call him. If you guys are listening to episode seven, if you, if that statement didn't drive you off, I'm sorry. Yeah. And to the world, I'm sorry. I can feel, I can feel your apology. Thank I you. think it's sincere. Thank you. Hopefully Justice and the other listeners who may or may not have been offended by it also I, can feel that. I can say this from the bottom of my heart. It was certainly more sincere than apologies that I've seen from, you know, national figures in the past. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of what it was reminding me of was yeah. uh, maybe uh, maybe a coach maybe or a maybe coach. a player who stated something. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, the day after they had to make a retraction. Yeah. This is this is this is kind of what I felt. Yes. Uh with you taking the podium. Yes. Deeply and, apologetic this morning. Yeah. Here on Faith. And regretting something that you stated. Certainly regarding it. No regrets, but I mean big regrets over here. For saying it. Well, I mean, he did barge in. He did barge in, but I did not have to react in the way that I reacted. Again, that's that is true. Not being a good friend. Listen, we learned about that. I want to be a good friend. Well, we learned about that uh, at our strong mom conference. Yes. Lauren said, What is the one thing that you have 100% control over? You didn't have control over justice barging in. Correct. I did not. But you did have control over your actions. Yes. And my reaction. Yeah. To him barging in. So, yeah, that could have been handled differently. It could have. I mean, the guy came on the show, made a waffle for us live, a good waffle, by the way. And, you know, my, my treatment of him was to tell him to shut up. That's just disgraceful. Yeah. It's dang near disgraceful. I didn't catch it live that day, uh, I did, I, but when I did watch yeah. it, I was like, oh, gosh, that was a little... Caught it on the replay. Little... And I didn't cut it. You know why? Because here at Faith and Frames, we want to be transparent. Yeah. And I, I said it. It was, I it, was a bit of a bra- it. it was a bit abrasive. It was very abrasive, and I um, said it. And so I'm, I'm owning it. I'm apologizing for it. I am reverting from those ways, and hopefully my four-year-old, my two-year-old can forgive me. Specifically in the video, yeah. you could see it in Justice's eyes. He was scared. It, yeah, it took he was, him back. He was, he was, yeah, he was certainly taken back. It took him back a little bit. I um, guess in, in full transparency, he stated he didn't know that we had started recording. He did not. So He did not. He thought we were just in conversation mode there. Yeah, yeah. And and again, Justice, I apologize. So today, it's just Garrett and I. Mm. Uh, and we wanted to touch on something that... Uh, we're very passionate about. We've mentioned it a blue million times, yes. and we will continue to mention it. Uh, and that is, uh, on the other side of the break, we're going to talk about testimonials, what they are, what they can do for you, and why you should care. Uh, but before, we're going to take a break and uh, thank this week's sponsor. Jared, we have a returning sponsor this week. Mm. Can you can you take a while guess at who it is? Not Manscaped. It's not Manscaped, although if Manscaped is listening, guys, I can't wait for you guys to sponsor this podcast. It's going to be a good time. But today's episode is sponsored by none other than Motion Creative Media. Boom. Us. Yep. Jared and Garrett. 
Here at Motion Creative Media, we want to inspire love for active living through photo and video that moves your business forward. Thank you, Motion Creative Media, for sponsoring today's episode. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you, Motion Creative. Once again, thanks, Brianna. Yes. That has a good ring to it. I, I still love that little ditty. Jared, meat and taters. What are we mm-hmm. talking about today? You mentioned it before the break, but let's reiterate, because we've had a little bit of an event uh, that that backs up some of our recent statements in regards to testimonials. Yeah, I think I think important in any business, any claim that's made, any uh, any suggestion that's made is, is going to be better received. It's going to be more powerful if you've got data, statistics to cold hard facts to back it up. Right. So we've mentioned a blue million times, as I stated. I don't know what figure that actually looks like, but it's a lot. A blue million. Yes, definitely a lot. Um, you typically say a billion. A so also kind of difficult to quantify. Blue million, larger than blue thousand. Just need the audience to know that's a lot, right? That's We've lot. stated it a lot, and we're going to continue mm-hmm. to say it. Testimonials are so powerful. Yes. Here, I'm going to read you hot off the uh, hot off the press, hot off the uh, the Google email here. Nice. This is from our client last week. We had our most ever booked calls from retarget ads in a single week. Ever. So mm. what this That's client stout. is doing, they're using testimonials in a little more aggressive way. Uh, they're using it in their marketing, right? right? They're using it in retargeted ads Putting and targeted ads. ads, right? Because what they're realizing is the power of these testimonials um, is, is, I mean, it's very powerful, and so it is helping them to convert uh, and create leads, uh, which is important for any business. So this is strong, Mom. Right. An event that we're hot off of as well. Yeah, we're still working on the pro- yeah. on the project, right? Starting to make deliveries. The though. first thing, though, because, and this was even without speaking to right. them, we were all on the same page, but we knew that the first pieces of content we were going to deliver out of the big list of deliverables mm-hmm. was the testimonials. Because we know how powerful they right. are. Well, we their knew- marketing department knew. Their their marketing head, Robert, I mean, he understands because he does ads every single day. Right. So those were the first pieces of content to come out from that uh, three-day event. And we're going to play one for you guys. Um, buckle up. Buckle up. So again, Strong Mom, they specialize in helping mothers yes um who are dealing with postpartum mm-hmm. maybe it's weight uh there are so many issues yeah, confidence issues yeah so many things that mothers struggle with mm-hmm. uh post children yeah and strong mom's there to help yeah and lauren specifically lauren regula the the head of strong mom you know her qualification because i don't think we've actually mentioned it lauren is a no. two-time olympian uh, three-time Olympian, my bad, excuse me. Three-time Olympian uh, competed in Tokyo most recently. Mm-hmm. Bronze. Yeah, bronze bronze medalist, Canadian softball, I believe. Yep, she's a pitcher. Um, but her her journey that she highlights in the Strong Mom event, and you can read her testimonials and, and her backstory on her Instagram, which right. we will also link. Um, she went through some depression, uh, quite, a, quite a big bout of depression after being yes. an Olympic athlete, what, the second time? Yep. So between time two and three, right. had a big bout of depression, mm-hmm. and uh, six years, yeah, six years, and through a lot of of time and effort and energy, was able to get herself back on an Olympic track. So that's Lauren's qualifications. Yeah, that she is, you know, essentially putting forth to other mothers, right? Um, you know, making her the expert in that field. But let, let's go ahead and roll the testimonial. Well, before that, I don't want to, I don't want to make any assumptions, mm-hmm. right? So we keep mentioning testimonial, testimonial to yeah. some that may be an a, a, that may be a buzzword. Yeah, I've actually got the definition of it right here. Okay, go ahead and hit the audience with that. Yeah, the definition of a testimonial is a formal statement testifying to someone's character, mm-hmm. or like I just mentioned, qualifications. Yeah, their experience. So again, it's somebody else yep. telling the world what you do, which yep. is more powerful than you telling yep. the world what you do. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I mentioned this when we're talking with clients. Uh, I don't know how many times I mentioned this in the car. We talk about this all the time. I can tell you how good I am until I'm blue in the face. Right. And I might believe you a little bit. You might. 
But there's also some motives that I could think you have behind that. Could be arrogance. Right. I could be self conceit. I mean, narcissistic, whatever. Right. However, you have a past client mm-hmm. talk about the impact that you, your business, your service, whatever it is, had on their life. Right. Now people can relate. Yes. It comes off. It's it's far more authentic because it's not the business owner. It's not the uh, the the professional. The whatever. Right. Now it really carries a lot of weight in a lot of people's uh, minds and eyes. So let's play this one. Roll real that quick. thing. This is Brooke, uh, as you'll notice in the title card. She's a, a strong, strong mom mother participant. What was life like? Um, I was a little bit of a hot mess prior to strong mom. I was a newly single mom with three kids, and I was struggling to. Put it lightly, I was in a tough spot and I needed some support, I needed some help, I needed to make some changes in my life. Mm. I think what I really liked about Strong Mom, I love um, Lauren's authenticity. I love her overall approach to health, yep. not Same. just physical Art. health, but you know, mental health, emotional health, nutritional health. It made sense and something I, I needed to be healthy as a whole person. My experience through Strong Mom, um, it was an incredible journey. I think I've grown more in the last two years than I have in the past two decades. It's been a really incredible, life-changing experience. Yeah. If you are considering, even thinking about joining Strong Mom, if you wanna grow, if you wanna have inner peace, if you wanna have joy, if you wanna be healthy, physically, mentally, emotionally, nutritionally, then 100% do it. I would do it every single day of the week. There's not a day that goes by in my life that I am not so thankful that Strong Mom came into my life. If any of this resonated with you, all you need to do is click the link to schedule boom. your 10-minute clarity call. That's a, that's a big boom. Um, big, big boom. And those are things that you know, are, again, not just Lauren getting on a Facebook video or an Instagram video saying, you will grow more than you've grown in the past decade in this three-day, you know, summit, or you will change your body physically, you will change your mind uh, metaphysically and emotionally. These are things that she has personally experienced. And and so that's where testimonials become so powerful. It's not, again, it's not you saying what's going to happen. It's others saying what has happened. Well, so, so, I mean, obviously in a video testimonial, um, a lot of it being coherent, cohesive, Mm -hmm. uh, flowing well takes place in the edit. It does. It does. Right. Um, but so take that one specifically, for example, uh, we had specific questions uh, to, to prompt Brooke in this right, case. Right. Um, obviously her answer is going to be unique to her. And so that's exactly what we wanted, but we needed the, we had these prompts yeah. and that's kind of how we do, that's kind of how we like to do testimonials. Yeah. That's how we manage them. Um, you have prompts that get the user, the user going back to my IT days, <laughs> get the participant, yeah. um, to open up, to open up and to tell their personal yeah. testimony. Uh, as to how it impacted and affected and affected their life, um, all of those things had Lauren stated would have been true statements, like you mentioned. Yeah, coming out of her been mouth, true statements would have been true statements. But she's not as personally emotional about it. You can see, yeah, you when can you, see when you see eyes. that video, you can see it, you can hear it in her. Those were true words, um, and. And so this was specific to, you know, the Strong Mong program. Mm-hmm. This transcends into anything, though. It does. It does. Um, if it doesn't matter what industry you're in, a good testimonial or two or three, however many you find necessary. Yeah, however many you need. That's that's going to be such a good advertisement uh, for your business. Um, especially small businesses. Yes, and it, it 
it brings a statement to mind that that I've known for a long time. And again, it's a statement that is true regardless of the industry that you're in. You know, if you're a small business owner and you're a greenhouse and you're trying to sell plants, or if you're if you're strong mom trying to sell courses and summits to other, you know, struggling mothers, yep. this this statement remains true regardless of the industry. And I want people to write this down if you're listening or if you're watching on YouTube, write this down if you're Uh-oh. a small business and this statement resonates with you, facts tell, stories sell. And I mean that in, in a, you know, the most true and, and transparent way that I can say that, right. but regardless of what you're trying to sell, if you're selling an idea, mm-hmm. if you're selling a product, or mm-hmm. if you're selling a service, that statement reigns true. Again, yep. somebody else endorsing the things that you have done for them right? that have solved their problem, yeah. That's going to sell more than you bringing up your own statistics right. and you shouting yourself from the mountaintops when they're doing it for you. Facts tell, stories yeah. sell. Yeah. So, what would you say to a business who maybe they have text testimonials mm-hmm. sitting on their website? Um, why should they care or why should they be motivated to put some of those into video form? I have my answer, but I'm curious what yours is. I would dare say our answer is fairly similar and, and we've not talked about this off camera, so this will be fun to see if it does line up. But I think text form is great. That's better than nothing. Mm-hmm. Text is better than nothing, better than having no testimonials at all. My mind though, whenever I see a text testimonial immediately goes to, well, yeah, I can go create my own fake Google account and write testimonies all day long. I can make 17 different Google emails in like three minutes and go type those up. Right. I can't, I can't make a person. Sure. I can't make a person and, and put that person on camera. Like that's, that's another individual that I can physically see that is in my space or Mm -hmm. wherever space we're shooting at that is again, endorsing the statements that that I have said. Right. Uh, so for me, it's a little more authentic in the sense mm-hmm. that it's pretty hard to fake. You are removing a lot of potential skepticism. Skepticism, doubt, um, by having somebody in person, absolutely. I'll take a step further. Uh, think about think about a text testimonial. You know, for for ease of use for your viewer, your reader, right? It's probably not going to be that long. True. Maybe three, four sentences. True. Because that's going to take up a lot of screen size. You know, there's all these reasons why you wouldn't have a really lengthy one. That was 90 or it was like a minute 45. Yeah. But imagine if that were all text, it'd be a, it'd be a full web page right. or it'd be a full right. six posts or whatever. It'd be really difficult to consume that right there because it's consolidated. It's, 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 it's a picture book. It is. Yeah. It is right there, but it is a minute and 45 seconds of just power. Yeah. Um, and you can, you can, you can fit a whole lot of testimony, uh, yeah. into a video that you can't necessarily fit into text. I'll raise you another one. Uh Oh, think about the buy-in that has to occur for somebody to even want to come get on camera for you. True. You know, we, we ask people for testimonies and, and we ask them for Google reviews. How, easy is it to 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 do a google review even if you're not really you know tech satisfied savvy. tech savvy whatever you can go type a review and say yeah they did okay they did a good job yeah but for somebody to say yeah i'm willing to cut out time from my schedule mm-hmm. to come physically give you a testimony right you've got buy-in there a whole lot more investment from yep. the person that you've helped from, yep. from the problem that you've solved right so again Video to me is so much more powerful than text. Text is not a bad thing. Mm-mm. It's a great start. Yeah. And I think in the past, it's been very, very usable. It's had to shift. Right. It's, but it's, it's shifted lately. Right. We've had to shift. And so to me, just the investment again from the person who's coming to give you the testimonial mm-hmm. makes it all that much more powerful. Yeah. In my opinion. I think I think if you're a business who maybe hasn't had to, had to do a lot of marketing lately, um, to say your website does have three, four, five text testimonials. Right. Convert if, them. If you are looking to stay relevant uh, in today's 
ecosystem of video, social right. media, any of those things, just on your website. If you're looking to stay relevant or to to elevate yourself above your competition, I think the best way you could spend any of your money is to video convert some of those text testimonials into video. Those are low hot low hanging low low hanging fruit. Those are low hanging fruits available to you. That's already someone who has been willing to sing your praises. Right. It wouldn't take a lot to convince them, hey, can you can you get this in a video for me? Yeah. Can uh, you spare me an hour of can, your time? Yeah. I've got this crew. They're gonna come out. They're gonna make it really easy for you, which is something that we do. Yeah. Um and this is going to be so powerful and so helpful for my business. A lot of people don't understand, especially I know we talk about small businesses a lot because right. we are one. Right. Um, a lot of small businesses don't have the time. They don't have the money. They don't have the know-how to do traditional marketing. Right. So what is their marketing? Well, it's referrals. It's word of mouth. And that's it's kind of what a testimonial is bundled all up into it one. It is. It is. It's, it's all-inclusive. It is so paramount mm-hmm. for small businesses to continue to grow and exist and right. sustain. That is my opinion. That's, that's probably your best investment you could make. I believe so. And and we've mentioned that before. I think too, again, and me and you have talked about this off camera in the past, but you know, people always ask, how can I support my my local buddy? How can I support my friend and his business? And it's so easy, whether you need their product or service or not, um, or maybe you have had their product or service in the past, the, one of the best things you can do is shout that person from the mountaintops. Yep. If, if I love Jared's potato digging service, I know you're a gardener, so. <laughs> <laughs> if I love your potatoes, yep. the best thing that I can do for your, your small garden and your, your small potato business is shout you from the mountaintops to yep. other potato lovers. Yeah. Maybe that's a very crude example. Well, it's very hypothetical, too, because I don't sell potatoes. Um, well, no, but if you did sell right, potatoes, right, right. Um, if, you, if you didn't hoard them for yourselves because yeah. you're a, a doomsday prepper. Well, so I'm that, just kidding. You're not, a, you're not a doomsday prepper. But either way, if you are selling potatoes, yeah. the best thing I can do for your tater digging business is shout you from the mountaintops. And that doesn't cost me a dime no. as the shouter. Right. It might cost you because you might have to buy a testimonial. Well, I mean, not even... I'll even go... Lower barrier of entry. Okay. Say I made a post about my potatoes. Yeah. I had a great crop this year. Da, 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 da. You're one of my followers on Facebook. Yep. You see it. You know what's equivalent to a shout at that point? A share. You share it. Yep. You know how long it takes somebody to share? About three seconds. About three seconds. Right? And so you may think, well, that's that's that can't help. Yeah, uh, a lot of people, I think they just don't understand how much impact it does have. They, they think it's such a low barrier activity that it's not going to have an impact for that small business. Well, see, Mike Valley, uh, this is going to take a minute to ro- to, to, to rope back in, but Valley Mike View Valley, Farms. through Valley View Farms and the Isaiah House that we've had a chance to work with, he made a statement this summer. Um, he said, look, the Isaiah House is doing things that I can't do. Right. But I can help them in other ways. And that's the exact same. There's a parallel there. There's that's the exact same thing to the person who maybe is a friend, family member, whatever. It's like, doesn't need my service. Well, that's Mike Valley. He's like, I can't, I can't do what Isaiah house is doing, Right, but I can help them the way you can help. And the reason why it's so powerful is because of algorithms. Right. We've all heard that buzzword. Half the people probably don't know what that means. Right. It changes every second. But the point is, is those things matter because that's what the algorithms are looking for. Right. Likes, comments, and interaction, shares. and shares. So like if you, rather than scrolling past my potato post, mm-hmm. you can do three things really quickly. You could like it. Yep. You could maybe add a comment saying something like, dude, those spuds look good this year. Or maybe you tag a buddy of yours who also is a potato lover. Or you can share it Mm -hmm. to your timeline, which, so that's the great thing, right? Your followers, there may be some overlap with my followers, but now you've given those people a chance to see my product. It's a brand new audience. It's a brand new audience. All of those things, they cost nothing, right? but a few seconds. But what you're doing for that small business 
honestly, it's really, it's, it's almost impossible to quantify. Well, think about this. Let's go back to Mike Valley, for example, because I, I love the, I love the example that he is setting for the testimonial mindset. Essentially what Mike Valley does each year now is he gives the Isaiah house a place to yeah. host the obstacle race. It's the Valley View Farm Obstacle Race, but it's in it's in coordination with Isaiah House. Right. That is essentially Mike Valley's endorsement on Isaiah House, saying, yep. "Yeah, I want everyone to come here to see this." So he's bringing all walks of life. We have real estate agents there. We have bankers. Yeah. We have food trucks. There are so many different right. audiences there yep. that he has now opened up for Isaiah House that maybe they didn't have in the past. Maybe in the past, a banker was not concerned with what Isaiah House was doing. Yeah. But now that they're all there on that farm together, that's essentially Mike Valley's post. Yeah. That, that's his share. Right. He's sharing their mission yeah. with this new audience. Well, so... He's just doing it live. That's true. That's a good point. Right. That's a very good point. Um, I love it. He... So, so, I guess to kind of rope it back into the testimonial, so say... Say you see a testimonial on your timeline. Maybe it's an industry that does not pertain to you today. Let's just say it's construction. Right. You don't have any construction needs today. I guarantee you, with not a whole lot of thought, you can think of someone yes. within your friend circle that does need it. Um, and so you could share that to that friend and guess what you may have just done? You may have just created a sale for that small business. Yeah. It wasn't you. You didn't monetarily, you know, assist that business, but you... you well, you kind of did. You passively... Right. But it didn't cost you any dollars right, out of your you bank account, right? right? It didn't cost you that. So, yeah. Well, think about my roofing fiasco earlier this year. I mean, I... I went online asking for recommendations. And I think within like the first two hours, I had probably 50 yeah. comments, just tag, 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 yeah. tag of roofing companies. Right. Um, you know, people saying, yeah, I recommend this person. I recommend this company. That's so powerful for those companies. Now, obviously I had a decision to make at that point in time. Yep. And we made our decision and finally got a new roof. Yeah. But it, it costs those people five seconds, three to five mm -hmm. seconds of their time yeah. to tag those roofers to help me out. I know, I know we were initially talking about testimonials, and right. I, think, I think that's important, but it's kind of shifted, but this is also super important. So like, let's take that post, for example. Right. If I'm late to the game and I see there are 60 comments, if I just assume that my recommendation's already been commented, right. the danger in that thought process is if I don't comment because I just assume, I'm not maybe going to read all 60 comments to see if it did get in there, right. but rather than just assuming that it's in there because if I assume and don't comment it, then you'll never get that recommendation. You'll never have that as a chance to, to look to into. reach out. So, well, and I think too, from the consumer standpoint, if I see three to five or 10 repeats. of the same repeats, yeah, that, to me, that's more powerful. Yes, it is. That, that means that this business is very liked. Yes. Maybe has a higher quality work, maybe has a, a more affordable price, whatever. Whatever it is. Whatever the case. But that that helps me, the consumer, yep. when people don't assume and yeah. say, hey, I'm still going to throw my wreck in. These are these are just ways and in, in just in social media right. that you can help a small business yeah. without forking over any dollars. Yeah, which is funny it. because the conversation started as what can businesses do with testimonials? Yeah. But again, I think a share and a like and a comment is on the consumer side a small testimonial. Yeah, it is. It is a, it is a, uh, you are, what is the word? You are, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on this this morning. Um, you're, you're essentially putting your stamp of approval yeah. uh, on that business. You're for, endorsing it. You're, yeah, that's, there's the word. You are endorsing that business and yeah. its service or whatever it offers. From the um, consumer side. So, yeah, I know we've given a lot of information today. Hopefully it made some sense. Yeah. Well, um, I think two two points that I'm going to kind of wrangle here. Yeah. Two points that I'm going to wrangle and reiterate from, from what we've talked about thus far. Business to business, testimonials are massive. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, we brought forth a very recent example. And honestly, I think Robert's email to us 
could be used as a testimonial. Yeah. Um, you know, him endorsing what we were able to do with their testimonials. Yep. But testimonials are massive for small businesses, especially small small businesses with smaller marketing budgets. Yeah. Uh, I think a testimonial is a very low barrier of entry. Right. So business to business wise, testimonials are huge in, in that sense. The consumer side and I'm still going to rope this into the testimonial category, right. but likes, shares, comments yep. are small testimonies and endorsements yeah. for your buddy running his yeah. potato digging business. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> those two things in today's climate, they're massive. They're, they may not seem like a lot, but they're massive. Yeah, your little like, your little comment, your share may seem... Insignificant, so insignificant that you're like, well, it's not worth it. Like, a, right? It's a, it's a heart. It's yeah. a, it's a few characters on a on a Facebook post. No, that means so much, and because of the algorithms, is why that means so much. That tells the algorithms on all the platforms. That's why I said it plural, right? So it yeah. tells the algorithms that people are engaging in this, right? Whether it's funny, informa- informative, educational. Uh, just relational, like it's relatable. It's telling the algorithm that this piece of content is resonating with people for one right. reason or another. And so then it gets pushed to other people. And so it's just, it's a snowball thing. That's the way algorithms work. Um, well, and on the business side with, with the testimonies, again, it's removing doubt, removing skepticism. Yeah. And it, it's taking, again, even if you have uh, text, text-based testimonials already, to me, it's just it's modernizing, modernizing those testimonials and bringing them yeah. into today's marketing world, yeah. which is done primarily on social media. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, we mentioned a specific example. Yeah. They're using it uh, in a little more aggressive sense because they yeah, are I mean, they're ad. They're they're using, using it in targeted ads. ads so they're right. Funding it. They're funding, they're funding that testimony. It, but having it even on your website. Right putting a few of those text ones into video format that's going to increase sit time on your uh on your website people yeah. are going to stay, stay there longer you're going to stay in your living room for a stay little in bit. your living room a little longer which is going to further increase the likelihood that they become a client of sorts so yeah if you are a business and you're listening to this you're you're seeing this whatever maybe somebody shared it to Ooh. a business and you're saying yeah you know what I've got a few text testimonials. They're 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 they've got some age on them. Yeah. Um. I need to put a couple of them in a video format. I know a couple guys. I know a couple guys. We are very passionate about it. Uh, it's one of our favorite pieces of content to create. Four thumbs, and we would love to help you. Yeah. Reach out. Uh. Either find us on whatever social media you're on right there, uh, Motion Creative Media or Motion Creative dot Media. Mm. That's our website. It's a good website. Uh. There's a contact form. Reach out. Fill it in. We'll reach back out to you and we'll get something set up. We would love, we would love to help you create some testimonials. Very passionate about it. Can't, can't speak <laughs> how passionate uh, we are about it. And as we're, as we're wrapping up this episode, just to, again, encapsulate everything that we've already stated, Jared, there are a few things that our listeners can do to help this podcast get out to the world. What yeah. are those things? Speaking of algorithms, if you, if you could do us a favor, be sure, seriously, we would love it. Do us a solid. Few solids. Uh and rate us. Yes. On some of the podcast platforms. They have Good stars. Or bad. Yeah. Give us a rating. And specifically on Apple Podcasts, I know you can leave stars. Right. But you can also leave a review, which stars is basically a testimonial. If you would do that, that would mean the absolute world to us. Um give you little claps for that. If you're on YouTube or wherever you're viewing this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know they have likes. Uh, they have. They all have their own way of basically endorsing. Yes, the E word. Hey, I like this. The E word, endorsement. Leave a comment if we said something that uh, resonated with you. Um, Speaking of the devil, Mike Valley is calling me right now. Oh, my goodness. Guys, we're going to go. We're going to get off of here. I know I hate goodbyes, but Jared, we got to hit it. We'll catch you next week. Y'all have a good one. All right, we'll see you. Bye.